What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And this evening, I want to talk about seasoned soldiers, generals in the Army. You just don't become a general. You start out as a private or maybe a lieutenant if you went to college or whatever. And you work your way up the ranks and you earn the scars along the way that makes you a general. Seasoned soldiers is what I'm talking about. When Grant faced off with Lee, that was not their first battle. But when Grant versed Lee in the Civil War, people, the general that was going to win, the seasoned soldier that was going to win, was the one who had learned from his mistakes and learned his enemy's tactics. And when the battle was over with, Grant was obviously that person. The point is this. Seasoned soldiers. You have been in this battle for over a year and a half, some of you. Because I look at that chart and I see how sometimes we went down. I didn't even pay attention, but we went down like 21 days in a row. I made a video about them and I said, these are fucking diamond hands. Seasoned soldiers. Each and every one of you. We have been through some shit. Would you disagree with that? Payment for order flow, algorithm battles, everything you can imagine. Now we're at a preferred stock split unit dividend. Who's going to win this battle? Retail or the hedges and the market makers? I'm telling you now. It, when we face off, and here we are right now, we are facing off, make no mistake about it. But which one of us is going to be the victor? Will it be the hedges or will it be the retail? It'll be the ones that learned from their mistakes and they learn their enemies tactics so that the next time we face off with these motherfuckers you should know what their tactics are would you disagree with that now I said we're fixing to face off on the 22nd is a bad deal I've told y'all how I feel about that. But a seasoned soldier learns from his mistakes and learns his enemy tactics. And I got to thinking about that. And I said, well, what tactic are they using or going to use? As a seasoned soldier, we should know. They took the buy button. Payment for order flow. And a, uh, lending out shares, shorting us down, that don't exist. We've been through it all. If there's a piece of corruption in this fucking market, we have seen it in a year and a half. We are seasoned soldiers. And seasoned soldiers study the tactics of their enemy. So that's what we're going to do right now. Now, I recorded a video in December 21st, 2021. And I was explaining then the tactic they were used against retail. And then I explained what the results were. From that video, as I was sitting here high as shit, from that video, when I was sitting there and I remembered that video, I went back because I'm a seasoned soldier. Let me go see what I learned, what I learned along the way. Since I can't trust any of them other motherfuckers, I'll go watch my own shit. And I was amazed what I taught myself for today. On January, well, I let myself tell you the story. But I'm fixing to show you how they beat us in January. I say us, I've been in it since June. But how they beat us. And then I'm going to explain how 
we can turn their tactic against them and win. So, listen to what I had to say in December 21, 2021. Alright, hey family, Bubby Gunner, the Common Sense Investor, coming at you again with another video explaining the AMC Short Squeeze. And before I get started, I want to say this. I personally believe that we would have moassed and went to the moon in January had not the YouTubers taken to YouTube and started raising hell about the buy button disappearing. Let me explain something to you. That buy button disappearing was a good thing for us. It meant the shorts were covering. Here's how it works. Robin Hood gets a call, 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30 in the morning. It's documented, it's, it's on the internet, in newspapers they get the call do you have the fucking shares you've been selling man because you're you got a hundred million shares here that you need to cover this went from two dollars to twenty dollars do you have them shares robin hood said no they said how long will it take you to get the hundred million shares you need now at this point robin hood looks over to the volume and they say, well, volume, the average volume is 50 million. We owe 100 million. So that means it will take us two days to cover, i.e. days to cover. It's two days. Why? Because Robin Hood owes 100 million shares. Average volume is 50 million. So they cannot buy 100 million if the average volume is only 50. So it will take them two days to cover. Understand? That's when I when I woke up to that eye because I thought a whole nother reason in the beginning when I got started and I was wrong. I learned days to cover means it's how many shares they have to buy versus the average volume. So if somebody has to buy 200 million shares and the average volume is 50 million, it's going to take them four days to do that. We on the same page there. Now. Robin Hood got the call. Yo, 100 million shares. Average volume is 50 million shares. It's going to take them two days to cover. So they get into the buying pool. Now, if you're following along with my videos, that is the blue box, the volume box. When the average was 50 and 60 million volume, Robin Hood needed to buy their shares, so they got into the pool. And they started buying up the shares that was out there. But it's going to take them two days to cover because it's 50 million volume average. There's another problem though. Along when the shark got into the water and started buying up the shares he needed to cover, retail's also in the pool and they're buying up shares because they want to strengthen their position or somebody bought in to start a position. And they're in competition and, and here comes the sharks and everybody's trying to buy up the shares. It's only 50 million that day. They are trying to buy up the shares they need to cover the short positions. And retail's in there at the same time, fighting them, trying to buy up shares and strengthen their position. So, Robin Hood said, here's the plan. Take the buy button away. Retail gets out of the pool, and now Robin Hood is the only one in the pool buying up shares. So now... They can cover in two days. But while retail's in the pool with them, the, they're fighting. It's going to take them three days to get it, four days to get it. So the quickest way to buy and cover our short position is to remove the retail investors from the buy pool where they're not in competition trying to eat up the shares. Buy up the 100 million shares we need and then turn the buy button back on. That was the plan. That's why they took that buy button, people. When Robin Hood got the call and they had to get into the volume box and start buying up shares, retail was in there buying up shares too, and they was in the way. So Robin Hood removed the buy button, put the retail to the side, and they bought up what they needed to cover. That's very simple to understand. The removal of the buy button had absolutely nothing to fucking do with me. It had nothing to do with you. Our purpose 
in the squeeze is to buy and hold. And we know at some point they're going to have to cover. So when they try to cover, you don't want to be in the pool. You want them in the pool. You want to be sitting in your fucking recliner waiting and saying, okay, I ain't, I ain't buying no more. It's up to y'all. They start buying. Price starts climbing. It's going to depend on you. Your sale button still works. They never took the sale button, people. The squeeze was in action. The squeeze was in action. Get out of the pool, retail. Remove the buy button. You still have your sale button because we need to buy your share. That's the MOAS. And it happened on January 28th when they removed that buy button, set retail to the side, Robin Hood was in the pool, and they was trying to buy up whoever over here with the sale button on, whoever had shares, and you're sitting back going, that's not enough, bitch, keep going. I want $5,000 a share. Well, Robin Hood's in the pool. We're off. They've, we've got out of the buy pool. You will be getting out of the buy pool and sitting in your recliner waiting on your price to come up to hit the fucking sale button. Now, on January 28th, had they taken the sale button, that was reason to be upset. What do you mean I can't sell the shares that I own? See? So the YouTubers taking the YouTube a year ago, crying about the fucking buy button, actually, in my opinion, gave the hedgies a strategy to use against us. And there it is, people. The chart I'm talking about in that video from December. This is an old Weeble chart I used. And I created the exact duplicate of the fractal pattern that happened in January and I posted it here. And I made all these boxes. Y'all know my videos. But the point is this. The blue line that keeps going up, that's when they started covering people. Then they took the buy button and kicked retail out the buying pool. Why? So they can keep buying and the price would have kept going up. Instead, we went, when everybody started crying about the buy button, we went into what I call the consolidation box, the dips. All right, we went from here and then we had a series of rips and dips because they learned we wanted to buy AMC. So sell it to the motherfuckers. And we went through that period, and in the end, it's supposed to go. To seven to eight hundred dollars. But remember, we had to go through this instead of getting to the MOAS right away. So a seasoned soldier looks at these game plans or battle plans that another soldier has used, and they get their battle strategies. And I marked this box off, it's a warning box. I've told y'all about that. And that motherfucker falls on the twenty second. Now, we're facing off. What are we going to learn? Well, we know they're going to fuck over us and they're going to take that buy button and they're going to put us to the side so they can buy. Here's the thing, and here's what we learn. If we raise hell about that, they'll turn it back on and they'll continue to sell to us. But if we just say, okay, motherfucker, kick back and relax and say, Start buying, bitch. That's what this is fixing to come up. This is where they suppress us and put us into this consolidation box again. This is where we could have went with the Moaz. Way over here. But instead, they had to wait to over here. So studying that battle plan, we learned that Taking the buy button is one of their strategies. So let's turn it around on them. I started a Vanguard account today. I figured if Vanguard's number one in the world now, I might as well join them. And I was going to transfer my Weeble shares over to Vanguard, even though it's not much. But if I'm not going to be able to, to buy more Ape, I want to be in a brokerage that will let me. Then I thought about it and all this came back up.
Why? I've got my position. Fuck you. Hedgies. Market makers, not y'all. I've got my position. Market makers, let's bring it on. Start buying. And we let them, and we sit back, and you start buying. We know how much they have to buy. So, instead of fighting with them in the buy pool, I'm going to kick back, drink a beer, smoke a joint, and watch the line and say, uh uh, that's not high enough, bitches. <laughs> Keep going. So, the videos that I put out is what's going on. And this video is how we turn what they've used against us and turn it back around on them. And retail can be the victor this go round instead of going back into this fucking consolidation box and having to wait to rip again. So, love y'all. Be blessed. I hope that helps y'all understand the squeeze and what's going on a little bit better. And I'll see you in the next video.